Hello friends, today we did a small hike up, uh, which is uh, right next to uh, Clever Watt Lake. And now I'm going down. It's quite a view from the top. Uh, you'll see it from a drone. I did a small flight up on the mountain and you'll see it better. Not the best hike to go up here because it's many rocks. <laughs> Very hot ascent, but it's worth it when you get to the top. Today we have really nice weather in Iceland. Lots of sunshine, unusual clear skies. And what you see here is called Klevarvat Lake. I have videos from this lake, many videos. You can see it on my channel. But on the other side of the ridge you have another lake. Kind of more muddy, not blue but yellowish, brownish lake. Here you have a blue lake. And there we have some hot springs. I still have never been there, but I need to check. They're always uh, smoking right next to that crater. It will take some time for me to go down here because it's uh, very steep. Clever at Lake. This ridge next to the lake is one of the best places to hike. See those Palagonite rocks here. Really beautiful. Also on this side. It's much easier to walk here. See, some people say you shouldn't walk on the moss in Iceland, but you know, you don't really have grass, it's moss all over. Well, we have some grass, but half of Iceland is also moss, so if we say such a thing, it means we shouldn't go out of the house, just stay indoors, and you couldn't step anywhere, like you couldn't step, let's say, isn't allowed to walk on the grass, you know. <clears throat> so, depends where, you know. In some places, we we walk on the moss, and the others don't. Depends. But here is enough of moss all over, you know. I don't think it will do any harm. And it's, and it's on, not only moss. You have also here some crowberries, all kinds of vegetation and growing also grass in between too like here you see it's it's also grass but there are some trails here i just don't know exactly where they are i need to look on the map but there are lots of footprints here people are walking also here so This rock I had to show you guys because it looks like it's falling, but it never falls. And we had a lot of earthquakes here next to this lake, as you can imagine. And for some reason, it's it just stays without falling. I mean, and we had big earthquakes here next to this lake. You see? Yeah, this hanging rock. Uh, maybe if you would push it from the back, it would fall, but uh, for now, it had been standing like this for thousands of years without 
bone. See, suspended rock, huge one, many tons. There are many weird things in Iceland. Yes, you see it. In the water is dropping out of it. I will walk under. It's only rocks here, there are no trees or bushes, nothing like that. Yeah, it was quite a hike this mountain. It took maybe half an hour to get to the top, maybe more 40 minutes and some half an hour back. And today, after I come home, I go for Northern Lights tour, going to drive Northern Light. Small group, some 20 people. We will hunt our Aurora Borealis, those tourists. They say conditions are good today. Hopefully we will see something. Another peculiar shape. Okay, now it's easy. Now it's just walking on the sand. What? I don't remember which way I was walking, I think here.
maybe not here. I don't know. Maybe I went the wrong way. I don't think I can go down here. I have to go back. Here, I think. Still a lot of snow there. I think I went the wrong way. So we have to walk through the snow. Hope it's not deep. Oh, it doesn't look like to be very deep. Yeah, it's frozen. It's almost a glacier here. Kind of very hard snow. That's how glaciers form. <laughs> There comes a lot of snow, gets frozen, never melts. So I highly recommend you clay clay Warwat Lake and this ridge next to the lake for hiking. I was supposed to go down there, but I went on mountain, I think. No, maybe, maybe I'm on the right spot. I don't Yes, it's so good. There is my car. <laughs> 